Hello, beautiful Scorpio souls, and welcome to my table. Thank you guys for joining me here. I am going to dive right into your messages, okay? So looking at your energy here in meditation prior, I do have a couple things that came through. A door knocker is what I was shown to start with, one of those metal devices that goes on a door to help knock. I'm getting the feeling or the message that you guys are approaching a door. You're either at a door. This could be a physical door. Maybe you're visiting somebody or this is a metaphorical door, a threshold. What I get from it, the vibe that I get from it is that you're welcome beyond this door, but the action of knocking on this door is also very important, is a step that can't go skipped. The reason for that is consent is what comes through. The image that I get is this party, this big, beautiful, wonderful party with all the people that you love are there and you're invited and you're showing up to this party, but you don't just walk in, you knock, you knock on the door. There's something about announcing your presence in this way. So I'm interested to know what it is that you guys are crossing as far as the threshold goes, what's at or on the other end, other side of this, excuse me, other side of this door. The next thing that I saw was a tornado. And this tornado was on a track, almost like there, there was always a, a pathway for this destruction that the tornado provides. A, a plan of attack was something that came through as well. But mostly this idea of prepared destruction, okay? And being Scorpio, you guys are definitely death, right? Death and rebirth. It doesn't really feel as much that this is something that's your natural energy. It feels like there is something that is coming about either in your cognizance, in your life, is showing up that you are now deciding this has got to go. And it's got to go uh, maybe even violently, quickly. It doesn't have to be violent, I guess, but quickly. Something that has a lot of force behind it might stir people up into a tizzy, okay? All right, let's get further into your messages here, you guys. So Spirit wanted to start with the Blue Angel Oracle deck for you today. And you had three cards actually come out. So the first one here is protection. I'm just going to go down the line here. This one's about... Um, well, it talks about beyond the storm. Any storms that do happen in our life are not necessarily because we've done anything to produce those storms. Storms just exist sometimes. We may participate in it, but sometimes storms just exist. There are sunny blue skies beyond every storm, though. So this is a reminder that you are always protected. There is always a force beyond your experience here. There's always a force beyond that door. Hmm. Interesting. Um, there's always a force beyond that door, but it requires it requires you to knock. It requires you to request its assistance, to feel its warmth, to feel its presence. That card, this card talks about um, or it reminds us of that. We're not alone. There is that support. OK. All you got to do is ask. Oh, I love that. OK. Uh, a New Earth is the next one that came through for you guys. This one is about transformation. A renewed sense of optimism coming forward. So love to see this. I feel like this is not only energy that's happening around all of us. There is a New Earth being <laughs> birthed constantly, right? This is for you personally, though, as well. There's a major shift that's happening in your life. And I feel like you're getting to a point where, okay, that's interesting too. You're getting to a point where uh, maybe you're realizing that this earth is you. This is your experience here. What I'm seeing is people littering, throwing trash wherever because people, I don't know, are terrible. <laughs> um, Realizing that you don't have to continue to take that trash is something that's coming through. You are the, uh, what is that called? Ombudsman is what's coming through. That's not the term I'm looking for, though. Someone who tends to, like a caretaker, 
a groundskeeper. There we go. <laughs> Someone who takes care of the grounds. You're starting to realize that you have a bit more control over accepting that this litter is happening or not. Realizing that there are moments where litter maybe just does fall from the sky, like the beyond uh, or protection beyond the storm comes through. Finding a little bit more discernment between um, those experiences. Okay, I feel like this helps. This helps you to not exert energy that doesn't need to be exerted, wasted in areas where it doesn't need to be wasted. This helps you to have some better discernment with where you're putting your energy okay the last one that came through is pathways of light so this one talks about divine dimensions and these divine dimensions or these pathways of light exist in those spaces between our thoughts how do we get to those spaces between our thoughts well the first thing that came through for me with this card is meditation and i talk about it all the time if it's something that you haven't started doing i highly highly encourage you to start including that into your daily routine even just starting five minutes a day or one minute a day, okay? Or even starting to think about doing it. <laughs> this is the part, meditation is the part where we receive, okay? We can't receive if we're not going into those meditative spaces, into those spaces in between our thoughts. Starting to focus on the space in between our breath is something that I feel connected to that too. There's this experience of weightlessness, like at the top point of the inhale before going into an exhale. That weightlessness is that space in between those thoughts. Okay. So let's go a little bit further into your message here, you guys. Um, I do want to pull an animal spirit oracle here for you. This is the wild unknown animal spirit. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Spirit. <laughs> What's going on for Scorpio? Or what does Scorpio need to know? Mm. Okay, so you did have a few that came out here. Turtle, peacock, and moth. So I very much get with this collective energy here, there is, there is a need to see through some distractions. I'm led back to, like I was saying with the new earth here, knowing knowing when to accept that trash, I guess, or not. And it's not, I don't mean trash. I just mean starting to realize where you do have power to control something and where you don't and allowing yourself to flow through that, removing resistance. And by doing that, removing suffering as well. With the moth and the peacock, especially, I get this feeling of um, superfluousness, <laughs> something that is superficial. You may, you may have been experiencing life recently, kind of flitting between one thing that feels good to the next thing that feels good is, is kind of what I'm getting. And there's this need to take it a little bit slower, <laughs> the turtle coming through, take it a little bit slower there. Discernment is coming through again. You will find your home where you belong, this is what you're searching for, comfort, whatever peace, whatever it is that you're searching for right now. That's all possible, but it requires you to, uh, I don't, not really like thick skin. What I'm getting with the turtle here, there's that protection in the shell. As you're navigating these deep waters, as you do, Scorpio, it's not that you are cold or callous or have a thick skin to something. It's more... It's more like you're going into a situation with intentional protection. Again, back to protection. Realizing that you are protected. Leaning into that energy allows you to tap into those deeper reserves of energy to take the long trek here. Instead of focusing on where the next bright light is, okay? And in doing this with the peacock here as well, this allows you to start digesting some emotional experiences, maybe that control, lack of control, like I was saying earlier, starting to accept the way that things are, allows you to start digesting things emotionally, energetically, which brings you this level of peace and comfort, those feelings that you are looking for. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to pull a Mudra card here, and then we'll move into the uh, tarot. Move into the tarot for you. So what do we have here for Scorpio, please, Spirit? What do what energy works for them right now? What do they need? A Mudra is oh, this one's sticking out. A Mudra is uh, <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Um, a hand sign or symbol that directs energy flow in our hands to produce a desired effect. So flexibility is what you got. If not this way, then that way. So I'm going to read this to you here. Waves mudra. The mudra bolsters lymph system and circulation, the lower back and the genital organs, and it has a calming and relaxing effect. In coping with the ups and downs of life, it is often helpful to take an example from Mother Nature. A stalk of grass bends in a storm, adjusts to the force of the wind, and when the blow is passed, it can straighten up again. We can try different possibilities and enjoy our flexibility. I know that sounds a little oversimplified, but we won't let ourselves be put down. Picture yourself at a splendid ball, clothed in a sumptuous dress, dancing to lively music in different rhythms. I was saying a party, you guys. Oh, I just got all the chills on that. Maybe you are, <laughs> that's exciting. Maybe you are actually going to a party or an event or something. I have all the chills on that. If that's the case, if you are literally going somewhere, I'm getting this feeling of there's fear, there's stress surrounding going. Maybe you're thinking of not going. I say go. Okay. I dance, <laughs> I dance the dance of life with elation, swaying with the rhythms and sounds of the heavens. And this is 55 as well. Five, five change. So, um, what is that? Let's see if we can this way here. Okay. Thumbs and pinkies are interlocked. All right. Cool. You guys. Awesome. Party. All right. Hey, interesting. Let's get into this. Let's see where this is going. So we're going to start with the light seers tarot here for you guys. What's going on for Scorpio, please spirit. What do they need to know? Nine of swords here at the split. Yeah. And 1221 on the timer. It, it feels like there's a lot of stress or anxiety toward whatever this party is, whatever's beyond this door. And it, I don't think it's a, a literal, get together for everyone. It does feel like there is to someone that felt very important to say. Um, but whatever this is, whether you know what this door is or what's beyond that door or not, I feel like it's mixed for you guys. There's still anxiety that's surrounding that. There's a lot of fear that's happening. You're, f this is a moment where you're being asked to face it though, to challenge yourself on like, don't back down. It may be raining outside. That doesn't mean you can't go out and dance. You don't have to stay inside the whole time, right? <laughs> okay. Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you are interested in checking out membership for yourself, there's a link in the description of this video or a join button next to the subscribe button under the video. And I do have private readings open and available if you are interested in checking that out. There's a link in the description of the video that will take you to my website. I'd be happy to help you guys out with something more personal, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, fun. Um, so your hopes. Hope, hope, hopes and dreams here at the bottom. Nine of swords. Okay. Um, was just talking about this. Like I said, I feel like I feel like you guys are aware of what's beyond this door. And there's this this anxiety what's coming through okay well, not everyone's gonna know this song but <laughs> here we are here we are show my age i guess what i'm seeing here the pe peacock is standing out and there's a song by celine dion uh one of her older albums it's called refuse to dance is what's playing through my head too the song is just talking about like you got your invitation to the dance Wear your party dress. Oh my God, this is a blast from the past. I don't know where this is coming from. It's just saying that um, you're all ready to go. You have your dress, you have your invitation, your clothes, whatever, suit, tux, whatever. You're ready to go to this party. You know everyone, you know you're charismatic AF, but there's still something that's creating a situation where you're refusing to dance. How to dance, Scorpio. Ooh, I'm excited about this message. Okay, I just got like <laughs> real excited about this message. Okay, let's keep moving forward here. This is the This May Hurt Tarot. What do we have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Refuse to Dance. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a, that was a an album in the 90s, I think. <laughs> one of my favorites of hers, but yeah, it's an old one. 
Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. This is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. If it's not resonating with you, that's okay to leave it behind. If it is, please accept the message. Um, like I said, I would love to help you with more personal messages if that's if that's what you're needing right now, too. Check out any of your other major placements in your chart or any other placement in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart, so I dare you to check it out, okay? Six of Wands here at the bottom. This is your fear version. So there is something about recognition. Mm, maybe you don't want to be recognized. Maybe you don't want to go to this party because you're just you just can't even. <laughs> Interesting. There's something about being celebrated here. Like there's a fear. Mm. It doesn't feel maybe like a full on fear for everybody, but this aversion to being celebrated and it doesn't maybe there is a party in your honor. Maybe somebody's wanting to throw a party for you and you're trying to shut it down for some reason. Allow yourself to be celebrated by yourself first. OK, and uh, what I'm here is learn to take a compliment, learn to take a compliment. And this doesn't mean that, you know, just because somebody said something nice to us, we owe them our energy to say anything. That's not that's not what I mean. This is a situation like if you don't want to respond to somebody, that's totally your prerogative. But if somebody is saying, you know, I love I love your hair color. Or, what a beautiful jacket. I don't know. Um, I love that top. Let me borrow that top. <laughs> um, allowing yourself to to take that kindness in instead of, you know, like, oh, this old thing, you know, trying to shut down a compliment is kind of what I'm getting here. Somebody's struggling with that or a few of you are. OK. Uh, all right. Let's get into your tarot messages here. And we're 17 minutes in. <laughs> um, Nine of Swords in reverse is what came out here in your general to start. So I do feel I do feel that there is this hesitancy right now to move towards something that you really want. And I feel like most of it, the reason why you may be struggling to move right now is feeling forsaken is what comes to mind. Feeling like maybe some guidance that you had previously is no longer there. You may be struggling to hear the same voices <laughs> that you've heard before. Or you're feeling thwarted to move towards a goal here. Maybe this door for some of you is not necessarily leading to a party or there is a party on the other end, but you don't know it yet. Mm, okay. There's a door that's popping up here. Interesting. Hold on. So what I'm seeing is that tornado again. So there was this planned destruction. Something was always meant to end. Whether you're participating in that intentionally right now or if it was something that was a part of your design before coming here. Could be either. But there's this destruction that's happening. Something is being shifted. This feels more on the end of, well, it would be your intention before you came here too. Like you're running up against this door, whatever this is, and you just don't want that door to be there. But what's waiting on the other side is some sort of celebration. You being celebrated in some way. And there's this hesitancy towards knocking. Like you just want the door to be out of the way. You don't want to knock. I want to knock it down, not knock. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. King of Swords comes through here next. Hey, there's that discernment. <laughs> discernment. I feel like Okay, slow it down. Some of you may be getting to a point with your connection to your spiritual team, your own spirituality, the way that you receive messages. What's coming through is there's some confusion or you're feeling like you're feeling like you're not receiving the message anymore or it's coming through muddled or mixed. The reason why this is happening is there there's an issue with seeing something for the way that it actually is. And I feel like this is you, seeing you for who you are. There's something you're missing about yourself 
and this is an awesome component to yourself. It could even be something that somebody's bashed on in the in the past. <laughs> Maybe this party, whatever is beyond this door, you've been invited and you're just not feeling like people do actually want you there. It's interesting. You got to snap out of that, Scorpio. <laughs> I mean, we definitely all fall into those places from time to time to be human, right? What's coming through here for me, though, is um, is to be a little bit more pragmatic about something that's going on here. Involving yourself, the way that you're viewing you. Okay, is there anything else on that, please, spirit? For Scorpio. Okay, this King of Swords has got this falcon here. I know this is a crow in this picture, but the imagery of the birds is coming along, coming through. Um, again, I'm brought back to that message of, mm, you may have been pursuing, okay, I'm going to keep shuffling this, but you may have been pursuing something that was not a message you were supposed to be listening to for some of you. And this is why the Knight of Swords is in reverse. Peace, peace and contentment are coming to you. This requires you to, to see this, though. I don't feel like this is anything egregious either. You've just been receiving messages from a source that is either no longer, maybe it wasn't ever credible or it wasn't, it's no longer applicable to you. Like you've outgrown that. Could be someone on YouTube, could be, a, I don't know, a guide you've been listening to, someone spiritually. Okay, let's keep moving forward. So good stuff here for you. Good stuff coming through. You have three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is um, this is success in working with others, talking and listening. Um, for I feel like for a lot of you, there's been, we are in Mercury retrograde too. There's been issues with communication. There's a component of recognition to this as well. The way I take this is this is recognition that's due to you. And you know this, this isn't, this isn't coming from an egotistical standpoint. It's coming from a place of, I did this, which means that if anybody wants to recognize that, that credit goes to me. You see what I'm saying? It's just a simple if A then B equation. I did this. So if there are any kudos to be had for that, that would come to me. There may be somebody who's been receiving credit where you're due credit. What I see is that turning around okay this could be a part of what's being shifted here with the tornado as well but being heard is what comes through on this there's something blocked communication wise and i feel like it's you being heard from your end yeah okay let's keep moving forward keep moving magician comes through too yay i feel like this recognition like you Okay, this is a component of yourself, or there is a component of yourself, your strength, your ability to manifest here, your power. You have recognized it, you know it's there. It feels like something has been going on where that's been taking a hit. Maybe you feeling strong about that power. Could just be life. Could be something in particular, just feeling weathered down about the strength of your own conviction or power. Um, and this starts to get corrected when you start to feel heard here. It feels kind of work related for, for some of you, for more of you or a relationship, a friendship where you just feel like you're, you have not been heard or respected or seen, seen. Okay. Not being seen for who you are. When this starts to shift, this allows you to start filling your own cup again instead of maybe inadvertently pouring it out here and there. Um, so with the magician, this allows you to move into a place where you're manifesting what it is that you actually want. I feel like this tornado coming through here, this has a lot to do with relationships for you guys. 
relationships needing to be moved moved away dissipated okay let's keep going keep going all right what you don't see coming here what's in the dark you have the ten of swords to start okay so um this is a painful ending I appreciate <laughs> the imagery here in this deck because it definitely feels a lot less severe than a lot of the other decks. This feels to me like um, there is a painful ending. Okay, how do I explain that? Something is coming to an end, and I, I feel like it's relationship-wise, okay? This doesn't have to be just romantic, friends, something to do with family, your neighbor. Um, this feels like actually a release a relief, that peace coming through after experiencing this pain for an extended period of time. So this 10 of swords coming through, there's a need to move away from all that pain, but you've kind of been moving away from it already. Like as an example, if it is a romantic relationship, the relationship's been over, you know how people say that's been over for a while, you know, it's really just Last two years or whatever, we've been slowly drifting apart. It feels like something like that. The pain is actually being alleviated in having it just be over. Okay. Queen of Pentacles comes through here to clarify. I feel... Hmm. <laughs> so back to consent here, okay? Queen of Pentacles is about abundance choices, making the choice to live the life you want to live. I feel like that door knocker being brought back here again, the consent that's happening there is you, there's a decision you need to make to shut a door or to open a door. And this feels like with that door knocker, this is opening a new door, But you don't have the energy to open that door while there's some other door that's open. It's letting all the heat out or all the air conditioning out. So you're being asked to make a decision to pull the Band-Aid completely off. Like the Band-Aid's all but, but come off. I'm seeing a, a tooth that's just barely hanging on. All you got to do is just take that tooth out. Okay, anything else on what's in the dark here for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Manifestation, law of attraction, thoughts become things. Okay. All right. So back to the door analogy here, example, letting that heat out. This is your, with the magician coming into the good stuff, this is your opportunity to manifest what it is that you, you want. That energy that's being wasted, diverted to this other person that needs to go, that needs, that needs to be done, whatever that is. Could be somebody that's in your life currently, or it could be somebody taking up space in your head rent-free. Whatever the case is, you're the one who has to make the decision to fully remove that. And in doing so, then the thoughts, because <clears throat> those thoughts are taking up space in your head, those thoughts are, are playing a role in your manifestation as well. So as soon as those can start leaving, you can start focusing a little bit more on what it is that you do actually want to create allow space to come up between thoughts too. Okay. So with those thoughts going on, there's not an opportunity for space. Interesting. Okay. So your challenge or obstacle at this time, you guys have four of cups. I do feel like, um, okay. So with the queen of pentacles, back to this real quick here in the 10 of swords. We can get addicted to the Ten of Swords energy. Something has come to a close or needs to be over, but we can also still kind of hang on, not because it feels good, but we can get addicted to anything. Something to become comfortable as an experience. So you need to make this decision to leave, to leave that Ten of Swords. The difficulty right now is that, getting up and doing that, leaving. There could be a little bit of a addiction, connection to that negativity. This is a time where 
you're being given the opportunity to choose what kind of vibration you want in your life. What is your next shift looking like? It's okay. It's okay to clear the clutter. Okay. If this is someone who's struggling with, well, I don't like to say goodbye to friends or this or that. It's okay to say, it's okay to say goodbye. It's okay to make decisions to end things. You guys are Scorpio. This is your superpower. <laughs> it's okay. What if you need permission here? Okay. Whatever the situation is, it's okay to, to say goodbye to allow another off offer opportunity to come through. Success Awards comes through next to transition. Yeah. <laughs> so the difficulty you're having right now is just making that transition. Whether it's out of fear of hurting someone else, yourself, your future prospects. Mm, what I'm getting is kind of that vibe 3111 on the timer too, is that vibe of um, you find something and you hang on to it or like, a box or ribbons, you know, you just start collecting these things going, Oh, I could, I could have a use for that in the future. Don't live your life that way. Like it's, eh, it's okay to do that. I feel like to a degree. Um, but there is an underlying motive for that kind of behavior. And it usually comes from a place of lack. If you are raised in a situation of poverty, or you've been in a situation of that, that tends to, to bring that kind of behavior forward. I need to squirrel things away so that I have it for the future. I'm not saying that's, that's a bad idea overall. It's important to be prepared. But as far as relationships here, that's what this kind of feels like. I don't really like this person or things are not going well. They have been for a while. I'm feeling that things need to transition. But um, maybe there could, you know, maybe I shouldn't. I'm feeling like, Maybe things will get better in the future. It's like hanging on to clothes that we don't fit into anymore either with the hopes that we'll be able to fit into them again. It's okay to make that decision to transition, okay? Make that change. You guys can do it. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this portion. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to move into the extended portion now if you guys want to join me there. I do have links in the description of the video. I have them for sale individually, and you can check out memberships also. Uh, private readings are open, like I said. And oh, with the extended, we're going to go into messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your current thoughts and emotions. If you guys did resonate with this reading, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I also have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description if this message resonated with you and you feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate it, you guys, to those who have supported the channel in that way. It goes a long way, so thank you, thank you. Please take care of yourself, Scorpio, and I'll see you all very soon. Be well.